Crypto would be great if you could just use your mobile phone and log into your wallet from anywhere at any time. The co-founders at Halliday are working to make that happen. And in today's video, I sit down with Akshay and Griffin and talk all about what Halliday's up to and how their smart wallet is going to onboard billions of new users into Web3, especially gaming. Not only that, but you'll be able to use your smart wallet to make transactions all over the world. So let's dive right in. started just messing around, hacking on some fun side projects. And then on one of the side projects, we were messing around with things just moved faster than we expected. Things got exciting really fast. And at some point it was, it was too awesome not to continue. So both of us uh, dropped out of Stanford and started building Halliday. In 2017, I was a pretty avid WoW player and I was doing an internship at a company and my mentor there uh, they were all buying Bitcoin on the engineering team and talking about the theory of value. And they're like, why does this digital thing have value? Oh, there's this new currency called Ethereum. It's a world computer. At this time, I was not very sophisticated in computer science, but I played a lot of video games and wanted my assets to be valuable. And so my boss was like, hey, you know, you should check this out. Then I think the next thing that did for me, and I tell this to everybody, was actually, I think around two years ago, the thing that blows me away was when Ariana Grande did a performance in Fortnite. So that, I think that's like the general like just societal trend, right? We're, we're treating virtual spaces more as societies. Um, and you're just going out, you're hanging out, you're going to concerts. And then the last thing, and this is what really took it home for me, I was like, I have to work on this for the next 10 years, is when my professor actually chose a random transaction on mainnet, and it was a transaction from Axie Infinity. And at this point, this is one of like the first blockchain games that really went mainstream. But the thing that was fascinating was the operation of guilds, like financial institutions in video games. Like these guys buy millions of dollars worth of assets and start leasing them out to players. And at that point, I was like, okay, we're doing concerts in video games. Now we have financial institutions and billions of dollars in market cap flowing through virtual ecosystems. That sums up a lot of what, why account abstraction is, you know, truly is revolutionary um, for the time right now. You know, I, I feel like one of the things that I'm most excited about is the UX in crypto is really undergoing a fundamental change right now. Uh, I, I feel like I've not seen this sort of dramatic revolution in the UX in a long, long time, if ever. And, you know, more people, more applications, more companies are becoming aware of this fact that to really bring on the masses to blockchain, to bring on, uh, bring, bring a lot of the technological applications we're building to the mainstream, you need to make it easy and you need to make it obvious. You need to hide away, abstract away all the complexities of blockchain uh, on the back end. You know, it's, it's even today you, you, uh, you go to the average person in the world, especially the average American, you go to them and ask them, what is blockchain? And they're going to tell you something about Bitcoin and how it's speculative currency, or uh, they're going to tell you that they have absolutely no idea what's going on here. The best applications in blockchain from a UX perspective, should be able to completely hide away the fact that they're even in Web3. The best Web3 applications should just feel like they're a traditional Web2 application that anybody can easily, seamlessly, and honestly, not even knowingly interact with. No, not even knowing that it's a Web3 app. We're excited about account abstraction from this perspective, obviously, of onboarding users. There is something even deeper about what this can allow and the types of interesting forms of interactions you can allow between agents. Make these wallets programmable when you can make accounts programmable. Using our technology, there are a bunch of different avenues with which to sort of get set up with a smart account with that fundamental innovation that it's seamless now. You don't need to go through 10 or 15 steps and store a seed phrase. You know, you have this sign-in screen right in front of you. You, you know, you're gonna click log in with Google and then you'll actually just be done. Like, it's really as simple as that. Like, this is the flow that everybody here is used to. Like we've all been engaging with the internet, you know, for what, about 20 years now. And, you know, we have, we have high standards these days. Like everybody is now a sophisticated digital consumer. And I think it's about time that the blockchain ecosystem service that, like give the UX that we've sort of grown used to, uh, being modern consumers with iPhones and, you know, what you're used to logging with Apple, logging with your discord, email, OTP, all that sort of jazz that will work through our system. So it'll feel very, very familiar to what you are used to using to log into existing websites. Well, what we're looking for in uh, anyone who wants to join our team is that 
I mean, first and most importantly, they're as excited as we are about bringing about this this vision of the world and the vision of how how uh, the ecosystem should be. You know, that sort of vision that we have. So we want people who are super excited. We want people who are dedicated and are really willing to do whatever it takes to move forward with that. We want to bring on brilliant people. Uh, we want to bring on awesome people who are experienced, who are who have that technical understanding, technical knowledge, and everything. But Really, you know, we're we're a team that likes to have a lot of fun too. So we want to bring on people that we'll have fun with, and we just like spending time with. Like we here, at, you know, we're we're a fully in person team based in San Francisco, and we spend a lot of time together. You know, we on, on our Twitter recently, we've been talking a lot more about what the technology fundamentally enables and how important it is, and how crucial this is going to be in changing how games are perceived, crypto games are perceived, and how they just onboard more users. That's been a big focus. I mean, of course, we've been talking about how this technology is evolving, what we're kind of building in the space. In the, in you know, very very soon, there's about to be some more fun announcements as well that I probably can't well right now. Um, but very soon, uh, keep keep an eye on our Twitter. We'll be announcing a lot of stuff there. We're super super thrilled to work with DeFi Kingdoms and the amazing community here. Um, I mean, just the response after we announced has been awesome. You know, we truly, really enjoy working with the, the, the DeFi Kingdoms team. I think there's they're really building something special and the speed at which they move, the how dedicated they are to making their game experience just absolutely awesome. Willingness to experiment and try new things. I think that's amazing and fantastic. Absolutely love the team. And of course, the community has been awesome. You know, we uh, last week, Griffin was on interview with Sticks and um, loved the sort of feedback that we got there, love the sort of engagement and um, excitement that we've just seen in the community about um, the, the experience for DeFi Kingdoms getting better. You know, all your phones have special hardware devices with keys, but they're incompatible with the standard Ethereum, right? So that's why you haven't seen it yet. Uh, account abstraction lets you use those on Ethereum uh, or on EVM chains. So that stuff, we're, we're racing to support things like that. Uh, but the amazing thing about a smart account, right? It's, it's programmable. Uh, so the, the sort of the future set is pretty endless. Yeah, we'll actually be traveling quite a bit in the next month at least. So uh, we're going to be at Gamescom in um, Cologne in uh, a couple of weeks, uh, followed by Korea Blockchain Week. We'll be in Seoul uh, in early September. And then we're also going to be at Token 2049 in Singapore uh, in mid-September. So we'll be, we'll be out on the road quite a bit if you guys are ever, you know, in any of these cities for these conferences or just happen to be there, please uh, DM us on Twitter. We'd absolutely love to meet up and, you know, love to, love to, love to get to meet more exciting, fun people in the space. There's actually quite a few uh, projects that we're working with. Um, you can see some of them on our website, for example, if you, if you log on to our uh, home, homepage, um, we, we talk about some of the partners we're working with there. It's actually quite exciting. We're in uh, very late stage talks with a lot of part other partners right now that we're going to start announcing in the next few weeks or so um, as those partnerships can start getting public. What our goal is as a company is we want to work with any sort of project that's really committed to building that better experience for their players. We want to work with them. We want to help them out in whatever way we can. So the level of excitement we're just seeing across the board in Web3 Gaming right now to start making their experience better to start just making it easy for the user. Um, it's just beyond the charts or it's just through the roof right now. So what did you think? The co-founders from Holiday are helping to bring the masses into crypto. Make sure you smash that like button also to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't already. And here's the link to the entire video. If you want to hear what Holiday's up to in depth and details, this is where you want to go next.